So are you ready to sew your apron? The first thing we have to do is to make sure that we put our ribbon on the waistband in the correct position and I'm just going to show you how to sew that on and how to find it. How do I know where the ribbon has to go? First of all, fold it in half because then we know exactly what height the front has. And then the other thing is that we've of course got the one centimeter seam allowance. So you can take a ruler or you can like a tape measure and just measure it out and see uh, where the line gets to. And then from that line, I need to find the center and that's where I'm going to put my ribbon. So with checks, it's really easy because you can see um, it would run very nicely along that blue line. So all I have to do really is take one pin and um, pin that to exactly that place. So I'm just shimmy it along. <laughs> Don't lose my line. And I put a pin on and then I can top stitch it to my waistband on either side. It's really very, very simple. I can cut it off. I'm using a Guterman thread actually. I really think the world of Guterman, I think it's a really good thread. And if you do a lot of top stitching, it's worthwhile getting one of those. You don't have to use it for all the seams, but when you do top stitching, a really nice thread is a good thing. The order I get actually, the more I use just nice, good, reasonable thread. You can always tell a good thread so when you hold it into the light and you don't have fibre sticking out then you know it's a really good thread because it's been twisted very tightly. And um, if you want to know more about that you can watch the little sewing course on fibres and yarns and how fabrics are made so you understand a bit better um, the difference between the threads. Now I've gone down either side here and I try to do it as close to the edge as possible uh, but not so that I can slip off and um, don't use contrast if you can't keep it straight but if you can of course that's absolutely okay so you could have used beige or I used red and that was it already now we're ready to put the apron together let's move on to the next section see you there